watching Fox 47 Morning News at 7. Well, good morning. It is Wednesday and we're starting off on the soggy side. A lot of rain out there and even reports of some sleet and some snow mixing in at times. South side of Lansing, you can see the parking lot out there is shiny from all of the rain. It's mostly just rain, at least here on the south side of Lansing. Satellite and radar showing you, though, a little bit of everything out there on the radar. We're seeing some of that purples indicating a few snowflakes mixing in and some of that yellow indicating not only some heavier pockets of rain, but also the potential for some sleet out there this morning. So so right now, south side of Lansing again, it's just rain. If you're on the northwest side of the city, maybe a little bit of some sleep mixing in at times. We are getting reports of St. John's, though, seeing a mix of rain and snow. And Owasso also seeing a little bit of a mix out there this morning. Eaton Rapids earlier had reports of some sleet. So uh, roadways this morning, mainly just wet. It's still a little too warm for really anything to be slick or slushy, but still give yourself a few extra minutes just because there's plenty of rain. That rain also in Jackson County out there this morning. Now we will see plenty of rain pretty much throughout the entire day. An area of low pressure down to our south acting as a conveyor belt, sending a lot of that moisture off to the north. And as we get just a little bit warmer later on this afternoon, it looks like it will be just rain for most of the day. So your future track as we go hour by hour, can we the chance for a little bit of a mix of some rain, snow, and even a little bit of some sleet, at least during the morning hours. Once we warm up and highs reach into the low 40s, we'll transition over to just rain for most of the afternoon and for most of the overnight hours as well. We are expecting widespread rain through a good portion of the day, and that will continue even as we go overnight. Waking up on Thursday morning, again, it should be warm enough that it's just rain here in Lansing and Jackson. A few locations off to the northwest may see a little bit of a mix early on Thursday morning. But that should again change over to just rain in the afternoon. That will be short lived though as we get closer to trick or treating time by six o'clock. It's still rain. But then temperatures start to cool down and we'll see that mix transition over from rain to snow as we go towards Thursday evening right around eight o'clock. So if you are going to be out trick or treating tomorrow, just be prepared. It will be cold. Most of that snow, if there is any, should come to an end by midnight and will be dry waking up on Friday. So your trick or treating forecast anytime between about six to eight. Expect temperatures to drop down in the upper 30s with rain changing over to a little bit of a mix with some snow included in the forecast for today, though. 42 degrees, a mix this morning, changing over to rain this afternoon. Tonight we drop down to around 39 degrees with mainly just rain across the area. In your seven day forecast, it will be chilly again tomorrow with a high of 44 degrees. Rain during the day, a little bit of that mix Thursday evening. We should be dry on fi Friday with a high of 42 degrees. Looks like we'll see another chance of a mix of rain and a few snow showers on Saturday with a high that hardly reaches 40 degrees. There is a silver lining to the forecast. At least we do get an extra hour of sleep on Sunday when daylight saving time comes to an end. And with a forecast like this, I am already banking on that uh, extra hour. Of sleep. Yes, I could think we'll need a little bit more time to hibernate. Yes, yeah, it's officially that time. It is. <laughs>